yeah, Xbox, Xbox One, bleh, <laughs> Xbox One boss. Oh yeah, what's up guys, it's Cruz Pike, my friends call me Big C. I'm back again guys, today we got some more game news, we got some game talk. As usual, this is game news for gamers like you that play video games. Upload them to YouTube and make money off it. Let's go guys, let's get right into the news. First topic is... Alright guys, the first topic is Sony Online Entertainment's alpha release of H1Z1. Not H1N1, which is that nasty flu that went around there in the past. No, H1Z1, the uh, originally named title, is a zombie survival title. But here's the thing guys. It is currently in its alpha state, and it is on Steam, and it's available, which is good, good, good. I know, I get that, but here's the thing. It's $20 to play it. That's right, you get to beta test H1Z1 for $20, which sounds like a pretty good deal, but you need to keep in mind that when the game is released, it's going to be free to play. So they're paying you to beta test a game that's going to end up being free when it comes out. Okay, some people pay money to get early access to alpha to beta test. That's one thing. Here's another thing. Originally, when the game came out, or when the, eight months ago or so, the developer said that, look, you know what, it's free to play. You can, we're gonna, we're gonna add in airdrop, so they're gonna drop in some stuff behind enemy lines, so to speak, but it's not gonna come with things like guns and bullets and stuff like that, because that would make the game a pay to win game and that would be all microtransaction pay to win style well it looks like they lied or they forgot what they said can't guarantee which one that was but anyways now they're it's still an alpha and here's the thing airdrops are coming in and they got guns and they got ammo the exact things that they said weren't going to be in it are in fact in the airdrops so anyways there is a huge 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 uh, online, everybody's bashing them. It's it's really really ugly, and uh, you know I don't know all the facts. I don't know if anybody knows all the facts except maybe Sony and uh, well a couple of you guys that uh, bought the game. But anyways, one thing you should know is if you have bought the game and you're you don't like being lied to or you don't like being misled, you can return the game now for twenty dollars for the twenty dollars you paid. You can return it. There's an email that you can send it to, and they will refund you the money. That's what I'm trying to say, guys. So anyways, the game is out. It is a free-to-play game, but you can pay $20 to beta test it for them, if that's your thing. Let's get into topic number two. Alright guys, next topic is... Not... is also kind of negative, and I apologize for this, but this is the news. I can't help what comes out. Guys, an 18-year-old UK man has been arrested in conjunction with the DDoS attacks on the Sony and the Xbox One networks over the holiday season. That's right, this guy is not only involved in that, probably a Lizard Squad guy, but he's also been a alleged to be involved in swatting. Swatting, for a few of you that don't know what that is, is when they call in bomb threats, or they call in uh, where somebody's got guns and holding somebody uh, hostage while they're like live streaming on Twitch or something like that. Really, really, really nasty stuff. Well, this guy is apparently a real piece of work, and uh, yeah, he's going in, he's getting charged up, or he's getting arrested for both of them. So. To this guy, like I said to the last guy, don't forget, liquid soap is better in prison because you can't drop it. Alright, let's get on to topic number three. Alright guys, next topic is Microsoft. Microsoft is in the news. Giddy up. These guys are back at it. Recently, Xbox One boss, Phil Spencer, has gone on to say that the soon-to-be-released Windows 10 operating system could be the most PC gamer friendly operating system ever or in a long time that's good news that's also potentially pr spin who knows but what i get out of this is there is a chance for a couple things one hopefully microsoft is making a bigger push back into pc gaming age of empires i don't know there's been some real winners out there in the last in the past and hopefully maybe they're going to launch something like that wouldn't that be awesome a new age of empires part 24 i don't know uh but joking aside guys that's possible, but it also gets me thinking that maybe, and this is just conjecture, this is just a rumor, but maybe Microsoft has some sort of unified gaming system or something like that going on where the Xbox One and your PC are going to play well together and you can stream back and forth and do all sorts of things. You know, Microsoft has the talent and they got the people to do it, so let's hope they watch this video and that happens. Alright guys, let's get on to the next topic. 
All right, guys, back on topic. Microsoft again. Yeah, Xbox, Xbox One. Bleh. <laughs> Xbox One boss Phil Spencer has said that the Xbox One can expect to have screenshot functionality early this year. That's right, screenshot functionality. Yeah, I know he was talking about how great Windows 10 is and it's going to be maybe potentially revolutionize PC gaming. And But um, yeah, the Xbox One's going to be getting that screenshot stuff. Just so you guys know, I've been taking screenshots on my PC since, I don't know, like 1999. And uh, the PlayStation 4 came with it outside of the box. But anyways, I'm joking aside. Screenshot functionality is coming to Xbox One early this year. So that's going to happen. Alright guys, that's the news for today. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon tomorrow with some more stuff. Big C, check